and this is gonna sound really like morbid and strange, but I really love doing funerals. I just discovered a new yoga wall. <laughs> yeah, this little nook here in our bedroom. It's like a... Dormer. Dormer, yeah. So it's got this little cutout area that Mary's been... But I've been going for a while now, so I'm like exhausted. Yeah, good job. Well, hey, how are you feeling today? I'm okay, I had a really rough morning. But yeah. Just a lot of coughing, gagging, throwing up. Yeah. But it's done. <sighs> Sorry, sweetie. But, um, yeah, how's your morning? Good. I've been taking care of business, getting the vlog out. I guess we need to go pack up some Christmas presents. Yeah! <laughs> We've had Christmas in July sale, and so it'll be fun to pack up some. I, I, uh, my new favorite this year is we have one of the bear with the Santa hat on. It's called Berry Christmas. That's all Peter. <laughs> he made that up. Merry Christmas. He's he's very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome to our day. Check it out guys. The window is open because the sun has returned and it's actually warm. Oh, it's like in the 70s. It's perfect. And Mary is packing up some Christmas prints and <laughs> We just, yeah, <laughs> as I talk about the warm weather, we just ran the first run of the Berry Christmas cards, and I love them. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We, we wish you a Berry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Berry Christmas and a happy... Summer. Yes, it's still summer. So we're just get, getting some orders packed up, getting ready to ship them out, and... That's what we do. Okay, I actually just got a call um, from my home care company about my feeding tube, which was missing from the package. And she said, yeah, it's back ordered. So it won't be here for like two weeks, um, which is fine. It doesn't have to be changed at the three month mark. Um, that was just when we had chosen to change it. Um, as long as it's still functioning, it can stay in longer. So um, I guess we'll just change it whenever it gets here. Um, it was just odd to me that it was on the packing slip, but apparently it's supposed to have a zero next to it, like it's in the box, but it's not a sort of thing. I don't know. Anyway, the mystery is solved. It is back ordered, which is interesting because remember they told me that the um, gauze was back ordered. Maybe we have like, uh, <laughs> like an influx of feeding tube users in my area We're like running out of gauze and buttons <laughs> okay let's go check on my tomatoes that I transplanted oh my goodness moment of truth <gasps> they're alive that's awesome you want some water Sharing is caring. I'm happy to share my tomato water with you. Now let's check on my porch plants. Let's see, oh yay! Some purple green beans. Oh, that one's nice and big. Mmm. Oh yeah, I wanted to show how it's green on the inside. See how it's green on the inside and purple on the outside? Pretty cool. Here are a few more growing. Awesome. And then these tomatoes back here, and then my snap peas. So these didn't grow too many, but hey, pretty cool. Hey babe. Is that our harvest? It is. Harvest party! Mmm. Sweet pea. Sweet peas are made of these. Mmm. It's all good.
All right, we had Bible study. Bible study is over, and Peter is working on something. He is mounting, we had this TV upstairs, but it wasn't being used, so we switched it out because our other TV was actually too small. We liked it because it wasn't very like obstructive to the room, but well, when you we had to squint. On the other side of the room, we, we were like, why don't we switch the TV? We have a huge TV upstairs where it's tiny and small TV downstairs. So, there it is. Swapping it out. I had to get a new mount because the, the mount didn't work. So, I just swapped it. And now I'm working on the wiring. And here's what happened. Sometimes you just have this instinct to videotape because you think it might go viral. Yep. Something might happen. Yep. I feel really bad. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> I'm going to come help you, but... I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. You didn't drop it. it didn't, Sorry, Carl. It's, it's not going to go viral if you did it right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. What? It's like I think it's like a, um, it came with the sound bar. I think it's like a, like, mounting strip or something, but it's like taped up like this little tiny scroll. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> Don't really need it because I'm not mounting it on the wall. Oh, well. That was a cool scroll. That was. <sighs> hey, guys. Sometimes at the end of the day, I'm like, what have we vlogged today? Because like it's everyday life where we pick up the camera throughout the day So I'm not quite sure how much we have vlogged today or what we've done Mary's upstairs doing her vest which if you're interested or have been curious uh, What that means when we say she's doing her vest we did make a video about it and if you missed it, I'll leave uh, I'll leave a little link to that video if you want to watch the video about what is the best uh, but uh, part of the reason I feel like we haven't vlogged much today is because I'm super busy this week. Um, I have a funeral that I am uh, doing this weekend and also church on Sunday. And so um, I've got a lot of uh, two messages running through my mind and... Uh, details getting ready for that so th there's often a lot of things that happen behind the scenes of our vlog we try to keep our vlog uh, focused on kind of our personal everyday lives our journey as uh, with Mary CF and our journey as um, a couple and so often there's these like behind the scenes stuff like today you know I'm working on uh, a couple of messages and so one of the things I didn't get to do today that I really really wanted to do was go fly my drone since I got it back and um, but uh, with Heaven Bible Study tonight and all the things going on I didn't get a chance to get out so maybe in the next few days I'll uh, get a chance to get away but I think that's one of the things that I've talked a little bit before about how I balance life as uh, a caretaker or caregiver or husband of someone with chronic illness and however you want to view it my goal as a husband is to serve Mary and to support her to the fullest in not only fighting CF but in just doing life together and um, one aspect of life in the midst of that journey is life is full of so many moving parts with church and YouTube and the online store and all of the things that Mary and I are involved in and I, I think it's um, important in the midst of busy lives. Many of you know the uh, busyness and yet I, I feel like I, I say we're busy but we aren't we don't have a lot of things on the schedule um, so it's a different kind of busy than a lot of people. Um, a lot of people like are busy because they have appointments from morning to night or 
Like, I, I am so grateful to have a job where I can uh, work from home and we can do YouTube and it's more of like a non-structured schedule of busyness, but there's always things that we're juggling and I think that's the busyness that I'm talking about. And so in the midst of that, like having those moments in your week where it's just kind of like... Um, getting away. Like last night, <laughs> Mary and I had so much fun watching America's Got Talent. We, now we started watching uh, World of Dance. I think we caught up on the episodes that we hadn't watched and uh, we watched it last night and we were dancing during the show and if you missed um, the end slate of yesterday's vlog, we were, I put some clips of us dancing, <laughs> and, um, it was just a lot of fun, and I'm really grateful for the, that we just kind of set aside that time last night, because I am, um, I've got a lot on my mind this week, and I don't know what I'm saying, I guess I'm just highlighting the reality for, that many of you know, and for Mary and I, that, um, when we're juggling a lot with health, health and life and jobs, it's um, important to find those moments in the midst of the juggling to set down everything you're juggling and to laugh together and to dance together. And I mean, that's something that Mary and I try to emphasize on these vlogs, whether it's dancing in a parking lot or just laughing at the craziness of life or whatever it is like finding those moments to um, embrace the day whatever it looks like and Ollie and his doggy are just embracing their reality right now of taking a little nap something that I am growing to love as a pastor and this is gonna sound really like morbid and strange but I really love doing funerals the reality of my role as a pastor and walking people through the grief and um, death is something that people don't like to talk about and or think about or walk through and rightfully so. Um, but the reality for uh, Mary and I as we help people walk through um, the grief of losing someone they love, it's the reality that there is hope beyond this life and that's something that Mary and I find tremendous uh, comfort and joy and in many ways the the peace that we have amidst Mary's CF journey is grounded in that that hope that we have in Jesus and so for me as a pastor um, helping people process uh, death through those eyes and I'm realizing more and more that people are in um, a very uh, vulnerable spot and it's not something I take lightly and I kind of I've had experience of going to funerals where it's just kind of like this service and it's not very meaningful and it's just kind of like going through the motions of this is what we do when a person dies but I, I guess for me as a pastor and I know for a lot of other pastors like this is a very meaningful time to proclaim a message of hope and so I take very seriously like pre preparing a personalized message and so these are the thoughts that are on my mind this week and actually this morning I was able to post the sermon from this past Sunday basically long story short it's not the best quality audio but if you're interested and you were like ah oh, I guess he was didn't post a sermon this week I did get that up today but I am going to go see what Mary's up to actually she just texted me and said that she could eat half of a pizza um, by that, I think she means half of a tortilla pizza. So I'm going to make that for her. Guys, look, she's done. Accomplishment. Good job. Celebrate the little things, people. And also try not to cough because it makes your head hurt. Mm. Bummer. That's a bummer. But you ate your pizza and then she ate some Oreos. She's a rock star tonight. Just saying. That's when I know my appetite's doing a little bit better when I'm wanting food late at night. Yeah, it's good. So, hey. So. It's good. And yeah. my weight's still going up, which is really good. Um, so I don't know if the night feeds, I don't know why that would be working better, but. Maybe because well, you're not burning, not burning anything. 
I mean, as, as many, yeah. But I'm getting the same amount, so I don't know if it's whatever. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to get to bed and... As always. As always. We, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.